Hello, this is Dampy Longnose, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and part number four of my tour of Comic 111's world. Um, this is most likely the final video of this like short four video series. If I do feel at the end of this like I haven't seen enough of this world and I've missed out on enough uh, to mean that I do have to do more videos, I will. Uh, but I would like to keep this just down to like a four video series. Uh, but if it does come down to it, uh, I will add more uh, videos and sort of show more stuff. Um, so yeah, we're going to carry on the tour where we left off. Um, if you saw the last video, you saw that I just did uh, Machine City. I just did a tour of there and it looks like we're going to uh, walk through there quickly now and sort of uh, see any remainders and anything that we might have missed on our first way through. And if you do want to see the last videos and you want to check them out before seeing this video, uh, there'll be a link in the description and you can go and check that out. Uh, but it looks like Comic has seen one little gap that he wants to go and plug at the end first. Oh no, are we going up there? Am I supposed to follow him? Like, I don't... I'm okay, well, at least I'll follow him up here. Luckily, I've been stealing from chests like the whole way around and I've just got a load of stuff and you may have to always oh, throw stuff down and I've completely lost it all. Oh, well, he'll probably throw more stuff down if I need it. And um, yeah, you're going to have to excuse my voice. Um, I've done all of these video back to back, in which case I mean I've literally stopped recording, started recording and then just carried on where I left off. I haven't had any breaks while doing these videos, which means that I'm going to be speaking for like... Um, for, for a long time, basically, what's that, like an hour and 20 minutes or whatever it will be, uh, non-stop. And also today, I recorded a messages video, messages video number three, which was half an hour of non-stop speaking. And I recorded five episodes of my 404 Seed Challenge. So today, I've recorded like five 20-minute videos all in a row plus a half an hour video and all of these videos in a row. So I've basically been sitting in my hot room by myself speaking like this all day. So unfortunately my voice might go or just die at some point. And I've realized that I keep slurring my words and stuff. So you're gonna have to excuse me, uh, but to be honest, the commentary doesn't matter too much. All I'm doing here is showing off the world. I'm basically just being your eyes into this world as here Comic, the creator of this world, the designer, the builder and everything else uh, sort of shows me around and shows me uh, everything that he's here been building. And this looks to be, I think that is some sort of angel over there. You can sort of see its wings and the halo and it's like, like it kind of looks like a, um, like a lightning bolt, you know, like Zeus would throw down. And uh, yeah, it looks kind of cool. I really like how light and like the pale blues and like the iron works really well there. And look at that thing. I don't have a clue what it is, but it looks epic. Let's go over there, Comic. Where are you? Where have you gone? Oh, Comic, come back, please. Don't leave me alone. I don't want to explore by myself. Um, where? Okay, I'm the green one, I guess. Has he has he gone down here? He's down there. Oh, okay, gotta go. Gotta gotta jump off. Guess I gotta jump off. Sorry. Um, okay, here we go. Run up. Shut your eyes. Shut your eyes. Just run and jump. Just run and jump. Ah! Oh, cats don't like water. Cats don't like water. I can handle the jump. I can handle big jumps as a cat because I always land on my feet because cats do that. But <laughs> um, I didn't like uh, landing in the water. I've got all wet now. Luckily, I got my armor on. Although I'm going to have to rinse it out at some point. And can we go in this thing? Can we go and see the angel? No. Okay. I'll let him be the tour guide. He knows. He knows the best things to see. He did build this world and... He keeps stopping and looking up. I don't know if he's trying to trying to show me something. Um, I don't know if we should probably go to bed quite soon because it is dark. But then again, a lot of the stuff does look nicer at night. Um, oh, look at this place. Look at that giant ball. Is there a room in there? Is that like just a light or is there like a bedroom in there or something? Imagine that being your room. Imagine like like chatting up a girl and taking her back to your room and being like, Hey, do you want to stay at mine? And then like taking her back to here and being like, Yep, this is my stop. Do you want to come in? Do you want to come in for a drink up there? <laughs> I'm going to throw down a bed and if Comet goes to go to bed then I'm going to do the same and join him and oh no I can't you can't sleep on glass can you right I'm going to put my bed on there and uh, see if he does want to does want to go to bed he seems to be a little bit paralyzed where's my bed go my bed just disappeared what happened to my bed is that, is that some sort of glitch or something that I don't know about can you not place sand on glass with a bed on top or Am I about to lag out the game? <laughs> Which might be very possible. I do believe that I am just about to lag out the game. And if that is so, uh, I'm going to cut ahead uh, in the video here and we can hopefully carry on the tour uh, once I've rejoined into the game. 
Okay, I've just joined back into the world now, and it seems like I haven't wasted any progress as, although things are still loading in, my bed did actually get placed and it is still here, and we can finally go to sleep, and hopefully uh, in the morning we can go and carry on our tour as planned. Annoyingly though, uh, that does mean that things are going to be a little bit loady in and probably a little bit more laggy than they were, uh, which is a bit annoying, but hopefully uh, it won't matter too much as... Um, yeah, we can see things are pretty much already starting to load in now, and we should be okay. And we've already seen this area a second ago, but it's kind of nice to see it in day. I do prefer it at night, though. I did actually uh, think this place looked nicer with the glowstone and stuff at night. And look, there's pigs! There's pigs under the ground! <laughs> oh, this really... There's like an island there with a tree. And instead of covering the island or destroying it or cutting down the tree, he's just built all of this and just left that little pig island and not disturbed their natural habitat and just built over it all. That's epic. <laughs> Alright, looks like he's uh, writing down a sign for me to sort of uh, say what this thing is. I'm actually really curious to like what this thing is. There's something up there! There's sheep in there! Look, can you see? I hope you can see see that. Like, see those white things bobbing around? Yeah, look, there's sheep in that like, like glass dome. <laughs> Poor sheep. Like, imagine like being there. Like, I can imagine like a sheep waiting room where all the sheep are there waiting to spawn. And then they're like, oh, I can't wait to join the Minecraft world. Let's spawn. Then they suddenly appear in the world and they're like, where the hell are we? How do we get out of here? This is our time in Minecraft. This is where we spawn. Then the pigs spawn down there under the glass. Poor, poor animals. Poor animals here. Okay, this is the, uh, this is Oshia Temple. Um, I don't know what Oshia is from, I don't know what that's a name from. I think he's actually told me what Oshia is before, actually. Uh, yeah, but it seems to be some sort of really epic temple, and I kind of like the openness of it. I don't like, um, well, I, I do like some stuff which is enclosed, but I like the way that this is, like, all open with just sort of big things, and you can sort of see, like, the sky, like, above you looks all, I don't know, it just looks like a really cool-looking thing. Uh, there's quite a big tower here in front of us. Um, and a bit of a an awkward walkway. Let's hopefully uh, hope I won't fall in. <laughs> all seems to be a little bit all over the place here. And what's that? What's going on down there? What's going on on the sides? <laughs> what? Do, do you really need that many signs? Oh, I think that's so you can you can walk under there without drowning. Uh, okay, I think that's from where he's been building underwater, and he's put signs everywhere so that like you can breathe while you're under the water. That would make a lot of sense, but. Can I get out of the water now? That's 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 the big thing. Uh, if I pull up some sand here, I should be able to jump back out. Come on, let me place it. Let me place the sand. Can I place stone? Ah, oh, there we go. Sorry, because it's a little bit laggy sometimes. Uh, things don't do what they are supposed to do. And kind of lucky I went and looked around there because it seems like uh, he is just sort of placing a sign down here anyway. And uh, yeah, so let let's see where we're heading to next. Brother's city. He's a noob. Okay, I guess this is this is what his brother's built then. As I said. Uh, Komic has built pretty much all of this apart from like one or two little things So I guess this is this is what his brother built. And this is okay I mean, he's not that much of a noob like a ceiling like that looks easier to build than it actually is and I Don't know like if I built this I'll be happy like uh, that's what I plan to do in my in my next world um, of course like Stampy's lovely world is mainly just my house, but uh, once I start a new world, when there's been some more updates, which I will do eventually, eventually I will uh, move out of Stampy's lovely world when I've sort of, like, had had enough of it, and I will make a new world, and I'm going to start it out immediately as being, like, a city. Well, not a city, I don't want a city, I want I want a town. I want, like, an old tavern and a and b and, like, like a guest house and, like, a an old, like, general store and stuff like that. That's what I want to build uh, when I do start a new world. But for now, I'm kind of happy with me living by myself with all my dogs uh, in Stampy's lovely world. That doesn't really make sense, does it? Living by myself with all my dogs. <laughs> Oh well. It's a lonely life with me and just all my dogs. <laughs> okay, so I guess we're still looking around his brother's city, which is okay. It's alright. Uh, but, yeah, th th there was a lot of stuff I saw, like, on the horizon, like, when I was up at the top earlier on, and I really want to go and see some of that stuff. This looks to be, like, the pyramid, and it wouldn't be a Minecraft world without a pyramid. I think that's something that everyone's got to build. <laughs> you don't really get many worlds that don't build some sort of pyramid at some point. Um, so, yeah, that that's pretty cool, I suppose. Probably one of the biggest pyramids that I've seen so far in uh, the Xbox version of Minecraft, at least. And this is all quite nicely designed. It kind of reminds me a little bit of my theatre, actually, with sort of the uh, the wooden planks and those, like, normal wood there. Okay, so 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 moving on. What's next? I'm going to have a quick look at the map now, just to sort of get an overview so you can see where we are. Okay, so there's that big bridge going over the water there. And that looks like that's why it might be where we're heading now. Or have we already been across? Like, I, I so lose track. It's really hard to sort of 
like get your bearings when you're looking at a map in terms of like when you're actually going round. And what do all these pistons do? What does this stuff do? Okay, it looks like it's just a fence to fence stuff off. And I know a lot of people complain that there's not gates yet in the Xbox version, but you could do something like that to sort of uh, replicate what a gate could do. Saying that, as you're watching this, you're probably watching it when the update's out, so you probably have gates anyway, so uh, you're probably not too worried about that. Okay, so I'm going to have another quick look on the map and sort of see where we're going. Okay, I really I really don't think we've seen anything in like the bottom left-hand corner. You see that whole big patch of land in the bottom left-hand side? I don't think we've like seen any of that yet. I do believe there's quite a lot, but... Um, as I said, this is going to probably be the final video I do featuring this world for now. Um, like, because he's such a good builder and because what he's building is so epic, um, at some point, I'm sure in the future, once he's like built a bit more and done a few more finishing touches, oh, and he gave me a flower, uh, I'm probably going to come back and visit here and see some more stuff. I'm going to, in return, give him a yellow flower just to sort of show I appreciate it. There we go. We've swapped flowers. <laughs> we can jump up and down in appreciation. I feel like we've just made up. Like we had a few arguments in some past videos about me blowing stuff up and him not wanting me to blow stuff up, then me blowing stuff up anyway. And I feel like we fell out in past videos, but I feel like with that exchange of flowers that I feel we're back on good terms now and we're good friends again. Until I just find some more TNT and now he's going to hate me again. Sorry. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> he thinks I've given him all my TNT and I did in a past video, but he has no idea uh, that I've just grabbed another stack of TNT. So what I think I will do uh, at the end of this video, when I find something epic, I'm going to place down some TNT in a bunch Button, and I'm going to leave it up to him uh, if he wants to blow it up or not. So the how epic the end of this video will be uh, is completely in the hands of Comic. Does he want to go out with a bang and entertain the masses and blow up a chunk of his world? Or does he want to play it safe and not blow up his world and have everything looking all nice and good and proper like a boring person? So the choice is going to be on you, Comic. What do you want to do, huh? What do you want to do? I need to find the most epic and dramatic and detailed thing I can find to blow up. <laughs> Just to make it that bit more rewarding. I don't know why people like destruction so much. There's just something, I don't know, just something rewarding in seeing something magnificent getting destroyed, you know? There's something just epic about seeing a big building or a bridge or something getting, like, demolished or, like, imploded or something. Okay, this is, seems to be, like, a cobblestone castle. Once again, like the pyramid, something that you kind of expect to see in any Minecraft world. It's, you don't know, it's like, it's just a standard thing to build. I mean, I didn't even build a castle in my world. And so hit the target, had to come in and build his own target, um, his own, not target, his own castle, sorry, for his evil dog army. army. Oh God, sorry, I told you I'd be mucking up my words in this commentary. Okay, uh, Celestial City. Uh, let's have a look in Celestial City. Why not? There's so many cities, like, it's not like his world is a city, it's like... A massive like region split up into like several different cities and this seems to be like kind of like the medieval type one this is a bit of like the old timey city the rest has been very futuristic with things like machine city and stuff this one seems to be a little bit more medieval I'm not sure if they did actually have glowstone in medieval times and if you look in the distance there you can see like a massive sword oh that's cool that, that that's just an epic sight wait one minute I'm going to stand here with my flare out. Actually, no, I need to get my sword out. I'm just going to look at this for a bit and hope against hope that YouTube chooses this screenshot as my thumbnail. I reckon that if YouTube chose this screenshot as my thumbnail for this video, it would double in views because that's just a really epic looking site, isn't it? It looks really cool. There's some pressure pads there, which I think are just for design. They don't actually do anything. Okay, so let's go see what's in this, this massive sword room. Oh, is it a pit? Bloody hell, look at this. Okay, this isn't as big as a Longbow's pit that he did in his world, like I did in a few videos ago, but it looks so cool. Look at the way it's all glowing. Like, when you get close to it, it doesn't look that good, but when you see it, like, at a distance, that looks so cool. I feel like there should be, like, Monk singing in the background. Like, this would be a good place to play, like, the Halo theme tune, have, like, I don't know, it's just got that, that kind of Monk-type feel. Very grand and epic looking. I think grand, epic, and fantastic are probably like my three most used words during this commentary. But I think they are a very fitting description. And just stuff like this, like, you walk through it quickly and I'm just like walking through, not thinking about it. There's like a so whole load of redstone and all stuff going on here which I couldn't begin to understand and I seem to have glitched through the floor. Oh no. Oh dear, am I stuck? What's going on? What's going on? Cat in trouble over here, Comet. Can you help me out? Throw, st <laughs> throw these sticks. Grab on and I'll get you out. Um, 
Okay, uh, I seem to have a bit of trouble here. Uh, oh, am I out? Am I out? Okay, I seem to be out. Uh, what if I press the lever? Will it help me get across then? Oh dear, that, that did not help. Um, let's give this another go. Get, get, get out of the way. I, I do a jump. Oh dear, oh, am I glitched again? What's, what's he doing? Uh, okay. Oh, oh dear, oh bloody hell. Uh, I'll what, what's with this place? Why do I keep getting glitched in there? That's that's really weird. I've never experienced that before. Ah, oh, am I stuck again? Sorry about this. I don't have a clue what's going on here. Uh, let me get my pickaxe out, just in case I do need to destroy something. This is really peculiar. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, and I'm up, and I'm up. <laughs> okay, I, I don't think that is a problem with the map per se. I think that... Uh, because my connection to Comic isn't very good, I think there's just a little bit of a delay from the lag and it's just sort of uh, messing a few things up. And obviously, as you saw earlier on, I did actually disconnect. So obviously, we're not working on the uh, strongest and the fastest bandwidth right now, but that's okay. I think it's uh, probably much more to do with my connection rather than his, seen as uh, I do live in Britain and all of our internet connection uh, is actually run by string and like like paper cups. We don't actually have wires here or like... Uh, like fiber optics or anything so <laughs> uh, we like ours works by just sort of like pressing a button and like it like transmits beeping sound you know do you remember do any of you remember dial up internet am i going to make myself feel old by talking about dial up internet or uh, are any of you old enough to know about that as well welcome to lee corp okay this is lee corp i don't have any torches with me that would have been i oh, know i do have some torches with me i'm gonna make sure i plonk down a load of these as i go just so you can see because it looks like it's getting very dark in here so uh, I guess this is someone called Lee sort of made this place and once again it looks very epic with the um, the way that it sort of glows on these kind of stuff. You kind of feel like there should be holograms of something like on these like pedestals but uh, I will continue to throw down torches if it does get too dark but uh, I think we might actually be okay and this is just uh, quite a nice mystical looking area. I, lo I love all this stuff with glowstone and like half slabs and stuff. I'm gonna have to uh, definitely experiment with some of this stuff. I might actually do this um, in my theatre because I want my theatre to look dark but like I want you to still be able to see it like okay and so I might actually do something with like uh, some steps and glowstone and half slabs and stuff. It's just, uh, just quite a cool design like like this like you can't see any light source but it's just is all still lit up and just looks quite cool. I just got a little bit of a glimpse of a torch down there but yeah it's just quite a quite an awesome looking thing to do. I can also hear some sheep in the background. Okay, I'm gonna have another quick look at my map, my map now, just so I can have an idea. And sorry, I keep slurring my words, and my voice is slowly going throughout the video. But seriously, I have been talking non-stop all day, so you're gonna have to gonna have to give me a break, because my voice is gonna keep. Oh, sorry, my voice just keeps going really weird. Sorry about that. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, there seems to be like a like a water lift. Uh, are we going all the way to the bottom? Okay, he's kind of stopped. Is he coming down? Okay, I'm, I'm not going to go all the way down because he's not. And I don't want to go all the way down just to go all the way back up again. <laughs> let me out, let me out, let me out. Oh, God, I nearly drowned there. I wasn't even looking at my, my thingy. Okay, a, a pointless button. Is this like, what is this place? There's just rooms like this, like everywhere. Is this like a, a prison? Are these prison cells? Oh, what's going on with the door? <laughs> I think the door's haunted. Some sort of weird redstone, like machinery there. Let me, let me go in. What is this? I don't, I don't even get how that works. What is opening the door? Like, is the redstone doing something or... I, I, I don't know. Okay, well, this might be a good opportunity to actually go to bed though, seeing as there are beds lying around anyway. This might be a good time to, to have a little quick nap to make sure that it is daytime when we leave and, uh, good. <laughs> I was scared that Comet was going to leave me in there, but he was nice and decided to let me out. Yes, I'm not entirely sure what this place is, but um, as I've said uh, in a past video, uh, as long as Comic uh, lets me know what all of these places are and gives a little bit more detail, uh, I will uh, leave annotations or put annotations uh, that will pop up on screen. So hopefully uh, right about now you're seeing an annotation saying uh, what it is that you are seeing. And this seems to be like some sort of cafe or a restaurant or something. I guess these are these are the seats and these are those kind of cool looking glowstone tables and this is this is the counter where you can you can order your food and stuff so what would you like to eat comic would you like to eat some leather you can have some leather to eat there you go num 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 that'd be 28 diamond please comic 28 diamonds please or or some sticks oh no one sand seriously leather's worth sand <laughs> i don't like the exchange rates in this world the prices are ridiculous Okay, so where are we? Okay, we're in the they're in the top middle of the map still. I still don't think we've explored like anywhere at the bottom of this map yet. There's still so much left to see, and I'm getting 
very worried that I'm going to be missing out of it uh, in this video series, but uh, I do promise that uh, as long as he lets me, I will be back in this world or in any other worlds that he builds at some point uh, to show you some more of the stuff that he's built. Because I'm sure that, uh, like me, you sort of, I don't know, you, you don't want to stop looking around here. There seems to be so much stuff around every corner. And I'm sure you're enjoying the video just to see what there is to see. But there's just something special about being in the Minecraft world yourself. Even though you're seeing absolutely everything the same as I'm seeing, there's just something nice about being in control and being able to look exactly where you want to look and being able to touch things and look in any chest you want and like press buttons and stuff. It's just nicer actually being in a world rather than just seeing someone else playing through a world. But hopefully you're sticking with the video anyway and you don't mind it uh, too much. But um, yeah, please don't spam Comic with messages asking to see his world in person though. Um, if he leaves a comment and says that he doesn't mind that, um, then I'm sure uh, he wouldn't mind giving some of you maybe a tour or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm sure he doesn't want a million messages of people asking him to see around this world. And as I said, uh, probably at some point in the future, I will do another tour of this world and let you see uh, anything that I've missed in these videos. And of course, anything that is added or like improved uh, since I've done these videos. It looks like he's adding another sign saying eight hours four grass um eight hours for grass i don't even know what he's saying eight hours for the grass to grow um okay come gonna have to leave a comment below and explain what the hell you're on about because i don't actually know what you're saying okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna leave this area and i'm gonna show one more thing whatever the next thing he shows is going to be the last thing that we're going to see in this video and uh in this uh, series of videos then as I say at some point um, if he lets me <laughs> I'll be back into his world if he allows me to come into his world even though I have been so destructive of my TNT so all I'm going to do is I'm going to see the next big thing I'm going to have a look at it I'm going to play some TNT around it I'm going to leave a button and have the option uh, for him to blow it up or just destroy my TNT and it'll be uh, entirely up to him Okay, actually, I might just uh, throw down uh, a little sign just, just, just to let him know. Actually, I, I don't, I don't want to waste too much time. He seems to, he seems to know what he's doing. So I'm, I'm just gonna keep following him. Like he says that he's always giving people like tours around his world. So many people like want to see it and stuff. He says that sometimes he just needs to go in someone else's world because he's kind of just fed up with his own world because people constantly want to look around it and stuff. And like he's done so many tours, he gets bored of just sort of saying the same things over and over again. But I'm just gonna just gonna shove a sign down here so he can see um, uh, see that we're on to the last thing. So hopefully he'll pick something dramatic for us. Uh, last thing. Sorry for typing really slow there. Yeah, so hopefully he's going to see this sign now and he's going to understand. No. No, I wasn't saying is this the last thing. I was saying you've got to show me the last thing now. Of course this isn't the last thing. Look how much bloody stuff you've added. <laughs> you probably haven't even got through half of it yet. I mean, to be honest, I think whatever, I'm going to have to end the video soon because I think my voice is literally at one point just going to go, nope, done. I've had enough. No more speaking. <laughs> that, that, that's all of the, the speaking like my vocal cords can handle in one day. <laughs> okay, so um, even though this isn't actually the last thing in the world, uh, this is going to be the last thing that I'm going to show you. So hopefully it's going to be something dramatic. And I can see a bunch of mushrooms down there. Maybe he's got a little mushroom farm. Okay, so where are we going now? Like, I don't, I'm like, I'm losing track of what I've seen and what I haven't seen. Like... Like, the buildings that I see from the outside, I don't actually know if I've been in them or not, because there's, there's just so many, and, like, I, I mean, they're all very different, but, like, I don't know, it's just hard to remember where you've been. Like, if you said to me now, oh, try and get to the theme park or something, I'd have no idea where to go. Like, I am completely lost right now, but it doesn't matter. I got the maker of the map with me, giving me a, a personal guided tour of the city and stuff, and look at that! Look at all the, um... Or the nether portals all together. That's quite a cool looking design. I wonder if he's actually built anything in the nether. I reckon he has done. There's no way you could build all of this stuff here and not build anything in the nether. This is just quite a nice, like, district. I think this is actually where I looked at. You remember when I was really high up? And I was sort of looking down going like, oh, where's that? I think this is actually where I was looking at. Okay, so this seems to be his big storage area. You can see it's full of gold and uh, iron. Well, not much iron. He's obviously used all that stuff. And uh, diamonds and di- okay. It's all empty. It's all empty. I didn't steal any of that, by the way, Comic. Those were empty when I came in here, and I genuinely do mean that for once. <laughs> Everything else I did steal. Like, he's probably going to kill me in a minute, and he's just going to see all of my stuff drop and be like, uh, Stampy, did you have uh, some light fingers as you're going around on this tour? 
Ah, uh, this is a storeroom. This is how a storeroom should be. I thought my storeroom was quite nice with like my like 25 or so chests. Look at this. Are these actually all full of stuff? Oh, it won't even let me open them. Sorry about the lag there. Yeah, they've actually all got stuff in. This is like, I don't know. Like, how does he know where stuff is? Does he remember? Does he remember like where everything goes? Look, it's like rooms upon rooms of it. Look at it. Look at all these chests. Like, is there stuff in all of this stuff? Hey, it's all full of diamonds and stuff. How has he not put signs on this stuff? How has he not put a sign saying, like, what's in each chest? Does he remember this? That's crazy. I suppose, like, even though you are duplicating, you still do need to have one of each item and, like, a way to easily access it all and stuff. But that is insane how many chests he had. And this looks like a, uh, a nice big overview of the rest of the world. We can sort of see... Uh, everywhere we walked around. I like, I like all the, like, the little streets and all the way it all kind of connects together. I like the way it's all on like different levels as well. Like he hasn't just completely flattened the land and built loads of like block houses on it. He's kind of, I don't know, you, you can find it feel like he's built on the land and sort of used the natural landscape as well. And um, yeah, you can see a few epic stuff. There's the room with the big uh, sword sticking into the roof of it. And where was the ender dragon? I can't remember where the ender dragon was. I think that's my favorite building over there. That one that one over there looks really epic. And just look at it all. Just look how much stuff there is. It's just hard to take it all in. Uh, but unfortunately, I am actually going to have to end the video here because my voice couldn't handle anymore. And uh, I do believe I have probably showed you uh, the majority of the world, even though we have evidently uh, missed out some of some uh, of the important stuff. But I will be back in this world at some point, uh, maybe like quite soon, probably in about a month or so, uh, where we can see anything that we've missed off and uh, also anything that is added. Uh, but I am going to have to end the video in here. And as I said, um, I'm going to place down a load of TNT and I'm going to leave it up to him uh, whether he wants to blow anything up. And actually, there's not really anything here to blow up. What I will do, I'll save my TNT. And then when we start off the next video, I'm going to have it at hand and then I can blow up anything that I want to. Uh, so I do hope that you enjoyed this, uh, these uh, last four videos featuring this world. Um, it has been truly epic and um, all credit goes to Comic and all of his work that he's done for this. Uh, there are a few other people that helped him with some stuff and I'm sure he can mention them in the comments because I don't actually know who those people are. If you want me to look at your world, don't worry if it's not as large or as like grand as this. Uh, they don't all have to be. But if you have built something impressive and you want to share it with the world, uh, then just send me a message on YouTube or Twitter and then I will uh, come check it out. Uh, just leave a description of what the world is and what your gamer tag is and then I will come and check it out at some point. Uh, but apart from that, that is going to end the video here. So I want to thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you all later. Bye!